and for the first race winner, Logan Miller, and uh, we're going to jump on this thing and see what happens. Check this out. All right, we'll put Logan here for the camera. I'm just going to have uh, Logan do just kind of a brief description of what a uh, Formula First race car is and specifically what we're going to be doing. So tell everybody what we're doing. What, what are we looking at? Sure, yeah. Uh, well, obviously, TJ already mentioned we're pulling the engine today, so I'll start with that. Uh, the engine is a stock VW 1600 uh, cc air-cooled engine, uh, straight out of the uh, Beetle, old Beetles from the late 60s, early 70s. Uh, they're a little bit different because we've had to put uh, counterweight crankshafts in them just to keep them from vibrating apart, but kind of a little bit of torque. Uh, as you can see, it looks like a lot, uh, so we got to get down into the engine first by uh, draining the oil and just start taking lines and uh, wires off. And uh, once we get down, we'll uh, uh, make sure everything's disconnected and uh, go ahead and pull it out. But. So as you can see here, not too particularly uh, technically sophisticated. I would venture to say these cars, I don't think, in the whole form of the V4, which again, this is where these kind of originated from, really hasn't changed much since its inception. There's chromoly steel tubing, uh, very 1960s, 1970s construction style. But that also makes them very inexpensive, very affordable, and you know if, if uh, it's sturdy. yeah, it's sturdy. And if you were to go and you know stuff one in a tire barrier, bouncing off of a guardrail, they're they're pretty inexpensive. If you just destroy the whole frame, yeah, they're, I, they're pretty affordable. Now we're talking in terms of race car stuff, of course. Race cars are expensive by nature, but right. I mean, again, I, I know we talked about this, but you can get into one of these cars like I did, pre-owned with some nice extras for well, well under ten thousand dollars. Racing is just unheard of, and you can run some great race tracks. We've talked about this a little bit. Uh, Watkins Glen, Mid Ohio, uh, Marvel Motorsports Park, uh, Indianapolis Motor Speedway, where you can race some cars. The list just goes on and on. So, really, for what you're going to spend to get into a quality pre owned shifter program, you can also take that same money and do a full size car. Me, I'm just going to do both. That one there's our great one. And again, this one was bought. Watched my live video, you know, over on Facebook and saw this. But, uh, when I started looking into this, I told everybody, I said, the only way I'm buying something in the middle of the summer was too good a deal to pass up. And that is exactly what was offered up. So this car has literally been sitting here since, what was it, July, I think? Yeah, mid-July. Mid-July. Mid-July, the car was dropped off. It was right in the middle of getting the uh, shifter ready. And I knew I wasn't going to race it this year. So uh, despite the, the desire to start working on this right away, I just decided to let it set. That way I didn't get tempted into going out and taking it out before it's ready. Because as I mentioned, the car has sat for uh, the better part of two years uh, and not been ran. And that was simply because the guy that I bought it from had bought a newer car and was racing that. So we're going to spend the winter here, go over this. We're going to share it with you here on, uh, on YouTube and everything. So again, uh, what are your thoughts on this? Do you have any experience with the, uh, with the Volkswagen motor, uh, you know, the, the small, the 1200 or the 1600? Uh, maybe in a different racing uh, application or a street application. If you have, uh, leave a comment down there. I do read all of them. Uh, let me know what you were doing. Any tips, you know, hey, what can we do to, to you know, get some better life out of this? We'd love to hear what you have to say. So drop a comment. And uh, in the meantime, sit back and enjoy this time lapse. This ought to be interesting. All right, over here, we've just kind of made a pile of all the nuts and bolts and pieces and what have you. Logan very smartly came up with the idea of let's taking all the nuts and bolts and what have you and putting them in a bag and then labeling what they are. So a month or two from now, whenever we're putting this back together,